So I've found myself with a few days of free time. So I'm going to indulge in some landscape photography. Um, I've come over to the Lake District and the conditions are mm, minimalist, shall we say. Uh, there's, there's no light, completely white skies, but there is in some of the valleys a nice low hanging mist. So I didn't really have any plans for this morning. It was more of a travel day. Uh, but I've just arrived at the shores of Lake Windermere and it's absolutely gorgeous as you can see. I'm currently looking for a focal point, any kind of subject to focus my lens onto because when you look out that way there's just nothing, absolutely nothing, it's just white. So I would describe this morning's shoot as a fine art shoot. And that is exactly what I'm doing. Um, it's absolutely stunning. It's so peaceful, so quiet. I saw my first ever wild otter this morning. It was just traversing the banks of the lake. Um, I managed to follow it and watch it and it was phenomenal. Amazing. Anyway, I'm, I really am just looking for any kind of composition. Because at the minute, as gorgeous as it is, there really is nothing that I can find to focus my lens on. So, we'll see what happens. Right, I think I'm on something here. I found some lovely minimalist foreground rocks. Unfortunately I've timed it quite badly because there is the cruiser which is going to destroy this flat calm water. <laughs> uh, bit annoying but it's going to give me time to set up and sort my composition out. So um, yeah as I said before minimalist fine art photography at its best. Sometimes the best you can do is just to keep things as simple as possible, which is exactly what I'm doing here. So I'm not quite sure how I can make this really exciting. Um, really there isn't much to this photograph and in its simplicity lies its beauty. We just have about five rocks and then pretty much nothing. Um, but you know, it works, it just works. There's enough that we can see there's a big expanse of space and we are getting just a hint of background in the distance as it breaks through the mist. But really, there's nothing else. Um, I'll tell you what I'm doing technically to start with. Um, I've got my Canon 5D Mark IV, 24 to 70 Mark II lens and my Lee six stop filter. Now the water is really, really calm. There's no wind at all, but there, there are a few waves coming in. Um, we've got some kayakers going past. We've got that boat that went past just before. So I'm going to pop on the six stop just to slow down the exposure. Now at F9, that's gonna give me four second exposure, ISO 100. Usually when shooting rocks and water, I enjoy a good polarizer, but this is not a good time to use a polarizer because the beauty of this image is the fact that it's completely white from foreground to background um, with only the black rocks as interest. So it's very minimalist, very artistic. If I was to use a polarizer, the white water in the foreground would become black as we see the pebbles beneath. Um, and it just, it wouldn't work. I promise you it wouldn't work. So I'm just keeping my focusing really simple and focusing one third into the scene because there is only interest one third into the scene. 
I'm going to focus on this rock here. Okay, that's the rock I'm focusing on. Now I have done a quick test and to be honest, I can focus on any of these rocks and it doesn't make a difference. Absolutely no difference at all. But that's the rock that really catches my eye. That's the one that the viewer's probably going to look at. So that's the one I'm going to focus on. And that is it. Absolutely dead simple. It's all about minimalism and simplicity. Four seconds, F9. Magic. Coming out this morning, I could see that it wasn't going to be an inspirational day. The weather is incredibly claggy. It's dull, there's no light, there's no mist, there's not much in the way of atmosphere. All in all, on paper, it's a terrible day for landscape photography. But what's really, really important, and I have to get this across, always choose your location based on the conditions. <coughs> I've come to a quarry known as Cathedral Quarry. Never been before, but it's an absolutely perfect location for a day like today. Grey, flat, overcast skies, soft lighting, absolutely magic. Now I'm not sure if I'll get any images in the quarry itself, but certainly the area definitely looks like it has a lot on offer. I've, uh, I've come up to the top of the quarry, uh, so I'm now on a shelf looking down into the quarry, which is where I was earlier, where you saw me walk in. I was hoping there was going to be a better shot from up here, but it doesn't look like there is. So I'm probably going to head back down, set up the camera, and see if we can get a shot inside the quarry before exploring the area more. Amazing. So I'm just having a walk around, trying to figure out the best composition for this cathedral cave or cathedral quarry. Um, two things spring to mind. One is the obvious pillar supporting this entire cave. Um, that is an obvious focal point, an obvious subject. And two is this rather nice green bracken or fern um, that seems to be catching the light really well and is like an injection of colour and saturation I can hear some school kids sounds like there's a big group of children about to come through here unfortunately I just I'm not happy with that composition over there I don't think that it's working. I don't think it does justice to the size of this phenomenal cavern. So I've come around the other side of the pillar um, and I've got an idea for a shot that's really going to show the magnitude and the scale of this place. But it does require a bit of a selfie. Right. Let's have a look and see if the uh, see if the selfie worked. Let's have a go. Yes, that worked. I think um, 
having me in shot really, really, really adds scale. Um, it adds interest. It's a lovely, simple image. I think once processed, I might go for a black and white, I'm not sure. But all in all, I'd say, job done. I don't think it's practical for me to stop and talk through every single photograph because this video will never end. Brown leaves, frost on them, photograph. Moving on.